Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MBB in SharePoint. In today's video, we will discuss about SharePoint Site Collection Administrator or the SharePoint Site Admin or we can say that SharePoint Site Owners as well. Now we will see what is this uh, SharePoint Site Collection Administrator that we talk about. Uh, what are the roles of a Site Collection Administrator? And then we'll discuss about how we can add or remove site collection administrator to a SharePoint online site collection. And also we'll see the difference between SharePoint site owner and site, uh, site collection administrator in terms of SharePoint online. Now let me tell you one thing. So when we talk about SharePoint site collection administrator, as the name suggests, uh, it, the, it is the admin of the entire site collection. So the entire site collection might have uh, a sub few subsites under that maybe uh, there will be nested subsite so the owner will be uh, or the site collection administrator is entirely responsible for that particular site collection which will be having your site subsites as well now in sharepoint uh, on premises versions like sharepoint 2013 or 2016 or 2019 uh, if you are still working or creating a web application under that you will create site collections and under that we will create sites or subsites that whatever you say now in sharepoint online we have now sites so everything is is sites now so when you will go to the um, sharepoint online admin center you will see that uh, they are talk about the sites so this is kind of the same site collection admin uh, site collection and and the site in sharepoint online now let me first open uh, the browser so you can see i have two sites these are online sites so i have a modern site and here you can see the classic site now the classic site works the same way uh, like in your on premises versions uh, for example, let's say here is the site collection and if you'll create subsites under it, uh, so you can uh, create subsites and that entirely will become a site collection. Now on this, how you will know that, uh, let's say, let's say I'll go here to the site settings. Uh, you will see here uh, there is uh, under user and permission, then you can see site collection administrator. So one uh, link is there, if you'll click over there and then you will be able to see that by default we will create the site or uh, whatever the name they will give as the uh, primary administrator that will come here so in this case you can see here site collection administrator is is coming like this and the uh, you can add multiple address over here uh, now that this is a classic uh, sharepoint site here here you can see and if you want to add any any, any user you can go here and then you can add any user for example i'll add user one i'll click on ok so now user one will become a site collection administrator for this um on the other side uh, if i will open a modern site you can see here this is a modern sharepoint site uh, and on this if if i'll click over here and then site uh, permission uh, you can see uh, things over here site owners site members and site visitors now the site members is you can see here this is a group connected site so there is a group over here um, now if i will click over the advanced permission settings which will open actually the classic uh, page here so you can see here this is the classic page and this is the two groups that we saw uh, the members owners and visitor and if you go to the ribbon you can see site collection administrators here if you will click over here now you look at this the site collection administrator here the by default the owners group are there so that means whoever are the owner uh, they are uh, already uh, already added into the site collection administrator group so that means your modern site owners are the site collection administrators so in the modern site when we talk about the owner or administrator they both are the same thing because they both presented over here now you never know sometimes in near future it will come that uh, this this page will not be there uh, and that time we can have the modern interface where you can add permission or you can uh, see here you go to the um, go to the you can you can click over here uh, two members you can see here you can see the owner so the owner is nothing but the site collection administrators in this case and if you will see here uh, the site permission now under site owner you can see uh, you you can also invite people so you can then add the role so uh, even even in the if you go to the classic uh, uh, exp uh, classic experience so there also you can add into that group 
so if i'll go to the site collection administrator if i want to uh, let's say i want to do say user 2 uh, you can see here click on okay and now user 2 will become a uh, and become a uh, site collection administrator for this particular site and that user not necessarily be uh, in in the owners group you can see here it is not there so uh, that's how it is uh, that's how it will be in the modern uh, sharepoint site now this is how you can go to the you can open the sharepoint site and you can uh, manipulate with the site collection administrator but let me open the uh, admin center here once so if i will go here i will just put admin here uh, you can see here and on this uh, if you when you will create a new site uh, for example i'll go uh, to active sites okay first of all any let's say you want to add any site collection administrator here to any sites for example if you will go to our sp guide site uh, you can see here permissions and you can see manage additional owners so if you'll click over here you can see the user 2 is there uh, the other one is a group and here even individually you can add uh, the owners you can see here i added it and then click on save so now uh, this will be having another site collection administrator um, even if you will uh, click this site uh, you can see here permissions and uh, you can see site admins here so um, you, you can uh, add over here so you can see these are the uh, two users and these are from the groups so as i said this is a group connected site so that means whoever are there in this uh, owner group they will be by default uh, added to the sharepoint site as well and these are the two users that we have added individually one from the sharepoint site and this user two i have added now from the sharepoint admin center so here also you can manipulate this now if you'll go to the uh, if you'll open your outlook you will go to this uh, owners group then there also you can add that user and that user will by default be added to the site collection administrator or the site owner group now when you will create a new site if you'll see here let's say i will select team site and here uh, you can see the site name and the group owner so the group owner whoever a uh, group i'll give let's say i'll i'll give uh, you know user one so by default this user one will be added to that particular uh, site uh, owner group uh, or that in, in, the, in terms of the classic SharePoint site you can say that will be added to the site collection administrator. So this is how you can add and while creating the new site uh, whatever the user you will provide they will be added to that group uh, the owner group and ultimately they will get the full control access to the SharePoint site. Now, what a uh, what a user can do on this uh, Ajay SharePoint site collection administrator. Uh, now, if I'll go to the site settings page, you can see here site settings page. So, in the site settings page, you can see here there's a section which is saying site collection administration, and these are the things that you can do here. You can see uh, all these things. You can access the recycle bin, search settings, uh, your audit settings. You can enable storage matrix. Everything you can see it here that is one part of it so that means this site administration and then there is site collection administrator now if i will create uh, let's say i'll go to the site content i'll go to the sub site and here i will create a new sub site uh, so let's say i will give the name as uh, let's say training training and uh, team site no office 365 group uh, you can see the permission use the same permission as parent so click on create now when you will create uh, this sub site if you will go to the uh, site settings page of this particular sub site now let's go to the site settings page you can see here we are on the training sub site you can check out the url it is sp guide slash training that means we are in a sub site now go to the click on this uh, gear icon and then uh, site information and then view all site settings now you can see here you will not see this site collection administration here and there is an option which is saying that go to the top level site settings so that means the when you will do the site collection admin activities that will be for the entire site collection so in the sub site you will not get those things so even let's say uh, if you will be in you will be in this sub site and i will ask uh, whether you are here in a sub site or in the top level site you will get it from the site settings page as well if you do not see the url 
now here if, if i'll say go to the top level site settings now look at here we are in the sp guides page now so here you can see these are uh, the option where you can uh, manipulate it as a site collection administrator and if you don't have permission for that or if you are not a site collection administrator then you will not see this option as well now let me tell you a couple of examples how your site collection administrators are very important for your organization or for your uh, site basically now let's say you you are working in a large organization where there are a lot of sites people are creating a lot of business are happening you are uh, using serpent on premises version and uh, so let's say xyz is the site collection administrator for a particular site and let, let's say the organization decided that they will move to the SharePoint online. Now who will be the point of contact for these those sites, whatever the sites they are using in, in their organization? Because they have to communicate to the uh, site collection administrators so that they can also plan to move to SharePoint online. And uh, let's say there is in, the, in those cases, they will they will get the site collection administrator uh, report and then they can send email to everyone. And if I'll give another example, let's say uh, the storage quota is over. Now, who will be the point of contact? In those cases, your site collection will be the person to whom the uh, SharePoint will send the notifications. Um, even when you will uh, when you will create a classic SharePoint site uh, where you define the SharePoint site storage quota in, th in those scenarios also, you can provide an option like let's say 90% once the storage is over, then you can send email so that that's how we can do so that's the reason your SharePoint site collection administrators are very important uh, um, typically these are the people who will have little bit of technical knowledge and also they they are the people who will have the business knowledge as well now because uh, you you are the person you are responsible for the business you know to whom to whom you should give permission and to whom you should remove all these things so this is how you can uh, you can think of as, as a SharePoint site collection administrator and in in SharePoint online yes the role is you can say SharePoint site owners are the SharePoint site collection administrator because SharePoint itself or Microsoft its, itself is saying there is no concept called a site collection now it is all our SharePoint sites so i hope you find this video useful and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos on office 365 sharepoint online or power platform spfx all these videos you will get it free thank you and have a nice day